in the semis. Carson Warholm and Rye Benjamin oh, they did it. are in the same heat. They did it. They did the thing. Wow. The, the, so I guess the, we'll see them compete. Maybe this I is mean, maybe the maybe the person responsible for the heats, and I know it's supposed to be random lane draw, which is real mad about Monaco not happening. <laughs> and they said, Hey, you guys are gonna avoid each other? Well, now you're gonna race twice. So what does Warholm and Benjamin do in this heat? Obviously, winning it means nothing, right? Because who cares if you win this heat if you then come out and lose in the final? But also, winning it, it means something because it shows like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm the alpha going into the final. So, and I get a better lane draw. Yeah. Maybe lane draw doesn't matter to Warholm. He runs fast in any lane he wants. But yeah. how do you think? Let's let's first talk about Warholm. Your world record holder. You're the heavy favorite. How do you run this race? Do you run it all out to buy, try to win the heat, or do you just no. kind of? No, I don't think so, you change you your game. I don't think you change your game plan. I think both of these guys, you pretend as if you're in a regular semi as much as you can because you don't want to expend crazy amounts of energy. Now you want the preferred lane as well too so if you can grab that great but i don't think you go to the well here now i feel like because we've seen benjamin run a lot of easy races because we've seen him in like u.s trials and ncaa trials i'm used to seeing him shut down early more so that seems more comfortable for him whereas warholm every time i see him it feels like he's going for the world record so it's harder in my mind to envision warholm taking it easy than benjamin but i think something is going to like kick in mentally you know around hurdle eight or something of hey let's just let's just get through the final what i want to see is we obviously saw the famous image of degrasse and bolt you know looking at each other in the hundred from rio centro and hawker staring at each other in the 1500 so it, we've seen it happen that sort of looking at each other in the semis sizing each other up across the lanes we've seen it in the sprints we've seen it in the distance We've never seen it in the hurdles, and for good reason, because there's something in front of you that can cause you to fall. I want to see a picture of them going over hurdle 10, mid-flight, staring at each other. That's what I want this heat to create. I don't just want that. I don't want them mid, mid-flight staring at each other on hurdle 10. I want them playing rock, paper, scissors, shoot, mid-air, and then the loser... Uh, concedes the the heat win to the winner of the rock paper scissors shoot competition over yeah. hurdle number ten. That's what I want to see. Yeah. The the problem is the lane draw, because you want the good lane draw in this. Because we we've analyzed this especially on the women's side with McLaughlin Muhammad, who's on the inside, who's on the outside, who's able to see what's what's going on. You think that stuff matters? It's just how much are you willing to pay for that? How much so, are you willing well, to expend in order to get that? Because I think if you really want it, if these two guys really want it, they could get it. Because at a certain point, if you're playing chicken, they're they're not going to want to go. They both can go sub 47, but one of them eventually will say, "This is this is too much. I can't do this in a semi." So I uh, correct me if I'm wrong. What do I want to see? Draw, I want to see the world prior. record broken in the semi. I want to see ultimate <laughs> prelim time is PR time, and I can sell my shirts. That's what I want to see. Yeah. If you're, they if both you're break the honest. world record, and then they both uh, lose in, in the final to, like, Samba <laughs> Santos. or something. Uh, Santos. <laughs> uh, so the lane draws are – the best lane is four. It goes four, five, three, six, two, seven, right? No, no. What does it go? Five, it four? It, it, it's farther out. It's farther outside. Well, the, the reason I thought about this was because – with Eugene, the way they were doing the, the preferred lanes, it was it was like seven, eight or something were the first really? the first two. Yeah, yeah. Um Whoa. I don't know. Some someone smart in the chat can let us know the order of of preferred lanes. Yeah, because basically I want to know assuming their heat is the fastest heat, what lane will second place get compared to first place in that heat? You know what I mean? Because well, you assume that's gonna they're gonna be either they're gonna have the best lane or the fourth best lane, basically. Correct. That's what's gonna happen. Correct. So you, we think back to 2016 and Van Niekerk doing it from eight. And okay, that's that's obviously better than than the far inside. Every 400 meter runner would probably tell you that. Like they'd rather 
run it without any vision on anybody else versus running those those tight turns but yeah you're right they could run the they could both break the world record but the second place person would get the fourth best lane draw for the you final. think which is probably a flaw in the system if you're asking me to be honest i feel like probably yeah. shouldn't, shouldn't yeah. be the case i think warholm doesn't care what lane he's in but Benjamin, he likes the outside do you think do you think Benjamin would rather be behind Warholm or ahead of Warholm? I think he'd Lane rather wants. be behind. I think he'd rather be behind okay. Warholm, and and Warholm likes to be on the outside. We saw at those Diamond Leagues where he could essentially, you think, pick his lane. A lot of times he was going way out there, seven or eight. So do you and think I, I, does losing does getting second in your heat guarantee that you'll be behind the winner of your heat in the final? No, I don't think it would guarantee that. Okay. I think it would be, be interesting. A chance. It's like, oh, yeah. I want to be behind you, and then he holds up to let, like what what Warholm go first, and then I can go second, so I can be like that'll be interesting. It's like legitimate, like it's like doing a, a like a fake kickoff or something like that, like onside kick. Yeah. You're trying to like make yeah. the attentional position. Yeah, Fair I or catch. I yeah, m maybe there's a a way where both of them get what they want here at, at a